Thank you, and uh, good afternoon, good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, I came here to Denmark to work as a pair, and then on October of 2011, I started to live with a wonderful and very cool host family in Gatimina, and yeah, this is one of my works that we donated to the town for its 600 years anniversary, and. I never really had the chance to paint when I was in the Philippines, but uh, last Christmas I made one painting that I gave to my host, and this is one of, one of my few works. The first work is an Agent Orange. It was a chemical weapon that was used by the Americans during the Vietnam War, so it, it just tells about the ugly consequence of war. And on the summer of 2012, I heard about this art festival, so I try if I can get myself into and yeah. And this is one of the works that I submitted to the censorship. So it's all about the street children thing that ha that's happening in the Philippines right now or something. And th this is also one of the works that I submitted for the censorship. It's called Sidewalk. So uh, it's something, yeah, it's very common. If you will live in my place, it's very common scenery in the place. Like ch uh, street children all over the place. And yeah, um, I was lucky to not only that I uh, was accepted as a jury artist in the festival, but I won the 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 festival as artist of the year. year. So, and this is what yeah, that's one of the part, the works, the children of the corn, and this one also is shelter. So it's it it just tells a story of the, like uh, it's like forty percent of. Uh, Philippine population is living in the slums, so that's basically it. It's all about the problems with the uh, housing. And this one is called Innocence, so it's all about the innocence of a child, but I try to incorporate it in like saving water or something, because it's like 700 people in the world has no access to clean drinking water. And that's it. And yeah, this one is nothing really special. I just made something like uh, it's like promoting peace through skateboarding. So basically, it's my background, some <coughs> skateboarding stuff when I was in, in my high school days or something. Yeah, that's it. And and this one also is a personal piece. It tells about uh, uh, different feelings and emotions. Uh, Cobwebs basically is like confusions. It's all about confusions of what am I going to do next or something. Nothing really, nothing really special in this work. And I also incorporate calligraphy in my works, like this one here. Yeah. So the calli calligraphy thing has really no meaning or interpretation in it. It's, it's just some kind of a meditation process that I try to fill up into my paintings. So this one is titled Mother Nature, so it's very sad and serious, so we'll better watch out. <laughs> and this one is a working class hero, so I was born to a working class family, so I tried to make a painting out of it, so it was inspired by the song of John Lennon, which there's these lyrics that I very much like, it's like, they hate you if you're clever, but they despise you. I'm sorry, they hate you if you're clever and they despise a fool. And this plot of gold is all about the mining disputes that is happening also in the place where I came from. So until right now, it's still there. I've been out of there two years now, but it's, yeah, it's still there. And this one, I got the title from the English brand, Extreme Metal Band, Cradle of Field. And I just try to incorporate it to how the uh, filthy rich society cradles the poor people by using and abusing them. This one is counter strike. It's very common in my place. Uh, the place where I came from is Mindanao. I don't know if you're very familiar with that place. It's a very war laden place. And this is always you can hear in the news about the counter strikes between the Muslim brothers and the government. And this one, Wimper, was inspired by an American poet, uh, T.S. Eliot. He had these quotations uh, saying that this is how the world will end 
it's not a bang but a what but a whimper so it's all about hunger poverty yeah, the silent effect of hunger and poverty so this one is now i just got when i paint i usually have background music so it just happened that i have bob marley on my background then yeah i made it not, nothing really but we all know that how bob marley somehow changed and tried to influence in making the world a better place yeah this one is it's something like yeah it, it's referring to a girl in the past actually but yeah i try to incorporate it in some kind of a religious there's some religious or more uh, immoral issues in some religion in the philippines right now so uh yeah it's just about how the members of the church were divided in dealing with the issues and this is a mascara mascara festival in the philippines yeah yeah it was it's just it was just inspired by some by the by a festival that is happening in the philippines and custom culture was inspired by the hot rod culture the uh, the one who built the custom cars or something so i just made it into my own interpretation or something and this one the last is the big one that i made is a five by two meter painting so it's all about peace and war and gun violence that leads to poverty so it, it was inspired by a filipino rapper where this there's this lyric of this song that you cannot talk peace and have a gun so that's basically the story it's our never-ending fight for peace and freedom and poverty yeah that's it and uh, uh, somewhere, in a, somewhere in my place, uh, a gun is more of a commodity than art. And Denmark is a very peaceful and a quiet place, so I didn't have to share this to you. But I hope that you here in Denmark or those in the first, first world country can somehow help me with this advocacy for peace. And because I believe that uh, all together we can make the world a better place. Woo!